and self care whether it's once a day once a week or once a month you won't be able to enjoy that entrepreneurial life and for that even a decent amount of coaching charges a fortune amount of money okay so first of all this video isn't meant to scare you away from the medical field or to give it a bad reputation it's simply an honest and transparent reality of the medical school so in this video i'm going to talk about the seven ugly truths about medical school and we are starting right now hello everyone my name is dr tagan welcome to my youtube channel where i share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies if this is your first time here start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything nothing worth having in life ever comes easy and medical field isn't an exception so before i start with all the points if you are or have been through a medical college let me know in the comment section below which of these seven points you can honestly relate to the first truth is that you will lose friends losing friends in medical school will surely happen to be honest there isn't a lot of people who can understand that your student life is a full time job even 1 hour of your time is the most precious 60 minutes you have ever had and so for this you are likely to miss out on special occasions such as birthdays night outs happy hours phone calls or replying back to messages in a timely fashion and not every friend can handle that a lot of people may side eye you and assume that you are unfriendly but the truth is that you are only prioritizing your career now and you really have to learn to manage and balance so many things at once and for this your social life takes a back seat to everything else going on and honestly it's okay because those who understand are worth your time and those who don't can hit the highway they are absolutely not worth your time the second truth is that you will burn out see you enter medical school with a lot of passion and enthusiasm smiling and proud at your achievements until one day when you burn out it happens to the best of us comment below if this has ever happened to you as well you see many a times this burnout is temporary but for some it becomes a functional lifestyle fortunately the first step in treating burnout is to realize that you are burned out and from there you have to give yourself the necessary rest period think of it this way that you are just in your graduation now and there are so many years ahead of you until you become a licensed physician means you are currently doing your graduation after that you might be doing your post graduation and possibly super specialization if applicable and then the rest of your life as an attending physician slash lecturer whichever career path you opt so if you are burning out now what's going to happen when you are actually in the patient ward and the patients need you so how do you combat this just get some me time and self care whether it's once a day once a week or once a month just make sure that you're not burning out and if you think that if these truths are scarier just wait until i get to the last point the third truth is that you will be very single or hardly see your significant other see medical school is a full time commitment and relationships are also full time commitment but many students are fortunate enough to enter into medical college living in the same city or in the same state as their boyfriend slash girlfriend but most students have to maintain a long distance relationship see i being from a national institute there were very very few students who were from my city or from my state while almost all of the students in my college were from a different state so when you factor that with an 8 hour of lecture time 12 to 24 hours hospital shifts sleep deprivation and exam anxiety it is enough to put a strain on any relationship the fourth truth is that you will doubt yourself a lot with each and every exam that comes along there is a level of anxiety sometimes you will do well and sometimes you won't and there might be an exam where you totally fail for this there may be so many underlying circumstances whether it be the way you studied or your personal issues or your health issues and you will even start questioning yourself these type of questions that whether you deserve to be here or whether you are smart enough to be a doctor and if you want a straight away answer to these kind of uncertainties and insecurities the answer is yes because you are not in this alone it happens to everyone it happens to even the toppers just because someone doesn't share their insecurities with you doesn't mean it isn't happening to them the fifth truth which is even scarier is that you will be in debt medical school is not only tough it is costly too you will have to invest in books 
a lot of books and a lot of books that are costly too then you might have to take tuitions for few subjects because that is required then you will have to start your preparations for your pg entrance exams right from your early years and for that even a decent amount of coaching charges a fortune amount of money and to top it all if your college is in a different city then there will be so many additional expenses that will creep in and all these things will always keep you in debt the sixth and the scariest truth that i can think of is that you will start quite late in life you will see your school friends and your childhood friends getting settled in their careers and starting their families while you are still pulling a 24 hour shift at hospital training and you won't see actual doctor salary until about 8 years of medical school sirf graduation karne se kuch hoga nahi after that you will have to go for post graduation that takes another 3 years of your life and even after post graduation in some field like in mbbs you have to go for higher specialization you have to go for super specialization and only then you can think of settling down in life so after your post graduation you are either starting your own clinic or joining a hospital or going for some kind of jobs but all these won't make you a lot of money right from the beginning you will take time and in some cases quite a few years until you can actually say that you are earning a decent amount of money from your profession and if you want to know what are the career options for bhms students i already made this video few weeks back and i'll put this video somewhere here and you will also find the link of the video in the description so that is the truth of your professional career being a doctor uh, in most of the cases you won't be able to enjoy that entrepreneurial life ke kam age mein in your 20s and in your early 30s you will have a lot of money and you can visit a lot of places in the world because you will be able to afford these kind of luxuries quite late in your life so if you aspire of becoming an entrepreneur alongside being a doctor then i already made a video some time back do check that video out you will find the link of that video in the description so those were the six points or the six truths that i could think of and the seventh truth is something that i want you people to comment below because i believe that if you have been into medical field and if you have gone through the medical colleges then everyone have had their own insecurities have had their own experiences and i want you to share just one piece of that experience in the comment section below the point that you believe have been your ugly experience about the medical school let me know in the comments it will be interesting going through your thoughts about medical school let me know how you like the video share this video with your medical friends and in your medical field who you think can relate to this topic and i'll see you in the next video